but one young driver in particular cherishes every single lap he makes behind the wheel. It was about the beginning of 2010. We were, I don't know where we were. We might have been out in Tucson and I was complaining about my shoulder hurting and stuff. And went and seen a doctor when we got back home from racing out there. And they took like a biopsy of, of something up there and they said that it's cancerous. And then from there it just kind of grew upon, you know. But like it, it's never gone away. Like it's always kind of been in me. They've just been able to keep it somewhat controlled the last uh, five years or whatever, you know, on and off. Like sometimes it'd pop up here or there or this or that and then kind of take care of that area and then everything would kind of stay, stay settled, you know, for a while and then pop up again, you know, kind of deal and just kind of, just got to go with the flow, you know, with it. It's really not too much you can do. I don't know, there, there are a few times, you know, here and there that I'll just kind of get down just more or less because it's like, man, I wish I could just leave the house, you know, and go out down to the shop and work on the car or uh, be racing that weekend instead of sitting at home laying in bed, you know. But uh, I try not to let that get at me too much. I try to stay positive, think of uh, all the positives, you know, like I'd rather be laying in a bed than laying on the ground, you know, like you gotta look at all the positives on everything. I cherish every moment that I'm allowed to race just because you don't know like how much longer you'll be able to do it till something pops up again and then you gotta take a break and deal with it all over again, you know. Last weekend we won that 10,000 down there in Kilgore and that kind of set in on the trip home like I was like damn, you know, it's just real rewarding I think, you know, and it just makes you feel good, it makes you want to, it gives you drive to want it more and more, you know, kind of like its own drug. This is actually our last race for this season. I got to stay up here two weeks after uh, Deer Creek or whatever and do some radiation and stuff up here. So that's going to be, I don't know how soon I'll be able to hop back in it, you know, right after that. Like it'll probably be a month or so, but plan on going out to Tucson and start my season out there in January. He's just 26 years old, but Grant Youngins is wise beyond his years and is certainly a source of inspiration for all of us.